Hi, my name is Noah, and I wanted to show a preview for ElectroBlock, which is an Arduino Blockly IDE. Blockly is a programming language that's drag and drop. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a program that will make an Arduino blink. So let's do that. We we'll drag the turn on LED lock. That's going to turn on an LED that's connected to pin two. So if we look at the simulator, which is right here, you can see the wires hooked into pin two. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the wait for block. And that'll make the Arduino wait for one second. And I'm going to copy and paste this block and put it in and turn it off. And I'm going to wait for another second. So this should essentially turn on the LED, wait a second, turn off the LED, and wait another second. So let's see that in action. And much like video editing, I can go forwards or backwards. I can increase the speed. This will increase the speed that the code executes. It still waits for a second for the delay blocks, but everything else executes super fast, just like it would on an Arduino. I'll turn this back. And notice here, it shows me where I'm at. So I'm on frame four, loop one. If I want to increase the number of loops that the simulator will go through, or the number of times it'll run through this section, the loop section, I can just increase the number or decrease the number. I can also skip around just like you would in any other video player or video editing uh, system. So the next thing I want to show you is an LED light strip example. So I'm going to open that up. And this will generate an LED light strip in the simulator. It will generate 30 light strip will have 30 LEDs. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And we know that because of the number of LEDs right here. So if I want to change that, I could change that to 40. But I want to keep mine at 30 because 30 is a pretty common number. And we're still working out bugs. And a lot of this stuff doesn't work. It's just warning. So this is going to create a typical for loop, which is going to create a variable. And a variable is um, just something that stores data. So this is going to store a number which is going to equal one, and it's going to continue to run this loop until um, i, which is the name of the variable, equals 30. And it's going to do that by adding one to the variable every time. So this should essentially execute 30 times. And this should turn um, all the LEDs a random color. So let's run through that. And notice that i, or the information that i is storing gets updated here. So you can see the value of i, you can see the LED that gets lit, and you can go through it. You can step through the code, and you can see what's going on as it goes. And I can see up around two and see all the LEDs light up. You can also go backwards, and notice it says by subtracting now. So it's starting at 30 and going to one. Let's see. Notice that this gets updated, and this is updating, and all that's updating. I can also see the code that it generates. I go here and see all that. So that's the code that's under the hood. So that's pretty cool. And if I want to show and hide the Arduino, I'll just do that. That little tap thing shows and hides the Arduino. So the next demo I wanted to show is an RFID reader. And I will read an RFID card. And the way it works with sensor data is that you set the data that the simulator, that the sensor is supposed to get. So you set the uh, uh, test data, if you will. So we're going to start at loop one. And it's going to scan a card. And the card number that it'll scan will be card underscore one. Then it won't scan any card in card in loop two. And then in loop three, it will scan card underscore one. So if I click play, oh, and notice too that card underscore one and tag are here because we're in loop one or the setup or pre-setup of loop. So let's click, actually we'll step through this and say click and play. So we're still in loop one. So does card one equal card one? Notice this is a read only field. Um, I would say yes, so we'll turn on the LED. Now that we're in loop two and it didn't scan a card, it's blank. So blank does not equal card one. So it'll turn off the LED. 
And now that we're in card, now that we're in loop three, it will card one does equal card one, so it will turn on the node. So this allows you to see what's going on. It allows you to create test data that you might expect your Arduino to get. I can also see the code here. I notice that the view shrinks. So I don't need the test data in the code view. So if I'm just looking at the code view, the, the blocks actually shrink. So they're uh, different views of code, if you will. I thought it was pretty cool. So this is a, a beta project right now or a preview. So a lot of things don't work, um, but a lot of things do. I have a list of things that do and don't work, and I'm going to be constantly updating this and adding to this. The end goal is for this to be a website, but more importantly, a desktop app that will allow you to upload code to the Arduino. And yeah, that should, that should be the uh, end goal. And the other end goal is to have a bunch of YouTube videos and other things to help teachers and educators use this tool. This is a free and open source platform for uh, learning about the Arduino. Um, and the code is open source as well. So if you want to contribute, feel free. You can contribute code or opinions or thoughts. I'm really looking for uh, feedback right now, but I'm also, I'm always looking for contributors. So if you want to contribute uh, some of your code skills, you're more than welcome to. And uh, I look forward to hearing your feedback. Uh, thank you. And I hope you all have a great day.